Hello friends, welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to tell you how to create incremental load in ClickView. So first let's understand what do we mean by incremental load. In ClickView incremental load is used when large transactional tables are involved when we are performing the large operations like we are uh, getting the large data set so in that case we use the incremental load it is a mechanism by which the only the updated or the new data is loaded in click view incremental load require the use of qvd file for data storage Incremental loads are useful because they run very efficiently when compared to full loads particularly so for large data sets So let's suppose we have stored a data set on our system and now if the data has been modified So instead of loading the complete data set again We will load only the updated or the newly created newly inserted record into that data file so this will save the time if you have less number of records it is preferable that you can reload the data set you can reload the data but if you have got thousands of millions of records then the data transaction will take some time now why should we use incremental load in many business environments they used large transitional tables and uh, those tables may receive thousands or millions of rows of data daily or monthly basis since the data is huge and it might be a sensitive data for the company so the companies they don't want to delete the existing records instead they want to, they would like to load only if the data is new so in such scenarios incremental load is used so to demonstrate this I have set up one set up file and I named it as an incremental load and you can see in this data file I have got data from 4th March till 8th Mar sorry 4th March 2015 till 8th March 2016 and I'll do one thing I'll just 0 2015 and I format, I'll just form it in the same format. So I'll transform in the same format. And now you can see the data files here we have, the records we have. Uh, there are, that's the sample record. So I set it as PRD123. And here are the records. And in this file, this file contains the updated records still yesterday itself. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to load this data set into click view and then find out the highest date or the last updated date and store into a variable. And then I will store the file in a QVD format. And again, I will make some changes in this file and I will load only the new uh, newly inserted record from this file instead of loading the whole data set. So let's see how to do this. So for this, I'll let me open click view. And in this click view, first of all, I create a new document and name as incremental sample. So the very first thing I'm going to do is open edit a script and in this edit a script, load the table file. So it's on my desktop. So I'll load that table file with make sure that it's to be it to be embedded labels and click on finish. And I'll just change this name incremental data save and reload it when i reload the data you can find you will see that the 23 lines are fetched so because there are 23 records 20 it shows 24th record but the one line is for the header so 23 records have been fetched successfully and now we can add them into a table so i just add a table box and add the file add the fields into that table in the same format load order and apply and that's the table which contains the record still yesterday itself 8th of March 2016 we can apply sorting as well sorting based on modified date sorting will be done on base of modified date 
so you can see the sorting has been done and the data has been sorted now first of all I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the last updated date because based on that we will be going to write a query so for this I I'm going to take help of resident load so in my previous video if you want to know more about resident load and preceding load you can go through my previous video in there where I have already explained about resident load so I specify here last underscore update underscore date and load I want to find out the maximum so I'll specify max function maximum of modified underscore date as and it will be stored as max date resident resident from this so resident incremental data resident incremental data and save it reload it so when I reload it you can see the last updated data last updated date it holds one line fetched and if I say maximum date because we have replaced it we, uh, we put an alias as a max date so if I add as a max date we can see the max date in the form of numeric format it's 42437 so that's perfectly fine it's working fine now I'm going to store this file as a QVD format in a QVD format but before that I want to store the maximum date in a variable so I create a variable here to create a variable we use let fun let command let last underscore update underscore date is equal to I use p function here peak max date comma zero comma from last underscore update underscore date and reload it and if I if you want to see whether it's it, the whether the variable has hold any value or not so we can use a trace function I can use trace here trace dollar last underscore update underscore date and save and run. so you can see we have got the last the variable has hold the value and the value is 42437 it's it's holding the maximum updated date basically the 8-3-2016 because this is the last updated date 8-3-2016 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this file in a QVD format so to store the file we use command store and I want to store this incremental data in a QVD format so I use here store incremental data into on my D drive D drive incremental data dot QVD in QVD format and run and reload and let's go and check whether the file has been created or not so I'll just get to the Q D drive and I can see on my D drive I have got my incremental dot QVD incremental data dot QVD file which is created today itself next step is I'm going to reload it and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the script or replace this script with the updated one so instead of loading the Excel file now I'm going to load the data from uh, QVD file and as well as from the Excel file Excel file from Excel file I'm going to load the updated data and the previously data the, ex the existing data will load from the QVD file so for that first of all let's update this record and here I'm going to set two new records and I set PRD 400 PRD 500 and pen drive and let's say DVD and there's and the sale is 145 and 569 and the mod the last updated date is 0903 2016 0903 2016 so today I have inserted two records and I would like to update only these two records I would like to load only these two records not the remaining 23 records so first of all save this file and now I eliminate this script except this variable the variable is stored in this memory now so I'll remove this statement and 
we can perform this we can load this into a separate file as well but i'm loading in the same file just to make sure just to demonstrate you so that's why and uh, i'll just put it last updated date last updated date and eliminate this line eliminate this code because it's stored in the variable and uh, incremental data that's okay we can load it from the file and also i would like to load that qvd file that qvd file is on my d drive so i open d drive and load that incremental data so that incremented that incremental data file has got the updated file that has got the existing record sorry the existing records are in qvd so existing records we load from the qvd and this incremental data or uh, from this file we load only the updated records only these the newly created records and i just specify here concatenate load region but if i load this it will load the existing records it will load all the records from the excel file so i'm going to specify one condition that it will load only those records where modify date modified underscore date is greater than dollar variable name and variable name is last up underscore update underscore date so what this command will do this query will load only the records whose modified date is greater than last updated underscore date and this particular file from qvd file it will load all the records and concatenate with the existing data set so let's save and reload it so i'll just save it and reload so when i reload it when i reload and click on reload you can see from incremental data it loads only from sheet 1 it's loading only two lines and the qvd it loads the 25 lines so it's loading only two lines so there are total 25 lines are there because now we have got 25 records 25 records so the concatenation has been done so and if i click on close you can see the newly updated records have been added so this is the way how we can perform the incremental load in click view so we need to we need to find out the last modified date and only update only load the records which are not available over there there could be an issue here the issue is for example if i execute the same command and this time if i have got the common records for example here we have got prd 990 so i specify prd and 909 so i just copy this the same record prd 909 it sales dvd and the sale is 200 and if i save this and reload this so we'll find out we have got duplicate records we have got duplicate records so you can look at the top we have duplicate records prd 909 prd 909 these are duplicate records because by default the incremental load works only to insert the update insert the uh, new records it will not validate the duplicate records so if we want to restrict that as well we just wanted to upload only the inserted record as well as we want to update the existing record if they exist so in order to do that we need to modify the script and to modify this script so what we are doing is here i specified simple i specified a where condition where where not exist where not exist and id that's all and now when i run it and reload it you can see that prd 909 record has been loaded it the it has been loaded once now here you can see that the prd 909 there are two records because the regions are not same they are from different regions so we have to make sure that the their region should be same so that's how we can work on incremental load in click view so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe a youtube channel for more videos on click view 
keep watching have a nice day goodbye